What's up traders, it's Matty from Logic Effects, and in today's video we're going to be covering the position size calculator. What it's going to be doing is telling you exactly how much you should be risking per trade and how much is the maximum position size limit you should have per trade based on your overall requirements. So what we'll be covering now is the position size calculator in an overview, just so you know what it is and what you're expecting in the video. So three things we need from each trader, so each one of you, is to input your current margin, the leverage you want to be using, and the maximum number of assets you're going to trade. So current margin is gonna be the amount of money in your trading account, so everyone has different amounts, that's why this calculator is unique for everyone. This can be $500, it can be $1,000, could be $200, whatever that number is. Then the leverage you want to be taking, we recommend around three to four for beginner and novice traders, and then as you're profitable, scale this up to eight, because when you're profitable, you can take on more risk because you know what you're doing. Maximum number of assets as well. We recommend a number of five because this basically allows you to diverse enough in your portfolio, but at the same time, allowing you to make maximum gains and actually leveraging up on those trades. Now, based on these statistics, we can work out basically our gross exposure, which you probably all know, and then our maximum position size on one trade. So that means our maximum position size on one trade is how much we should ever risk on one trade. And in this case, it's 2000 on there. Then we have something called our starter positions, which we'll go on to in a little bit. And it's basically something, a neat little trick, a neat little trick for you to use when trading to minimize your risk when you're first starting out. So let's go ahead and make this position size calculator. So current margin, we're gonna need three variables that we need from you, remember that, that's the current margin, that's the leverage we you want to use, and then the maximum number of assets. Correct? Am I right? So, current margin, let's say we're going to do uh, 2,000. This is the amount of money in your trading account. Let's just go ahead and make that italics and turn it into a gray so that we know it's not something that we're interested in right now. Uh, desired exposure. Desired exposure you wish to take. Recommended three to four, eight when profitable. Again, let's go ahead and use Format Painter tool, make that gray so that we know it's out the way. Max number of assets or trades, as you could say, you will have open at any one time. Now this is suggested, suggested five to allow diversification on your portfolio, but also maximizing the amount of risk you can be taking per trade. Let's go ahead and change this 2000 value to a currency value. Go ahead and go down to United States dollar. So that's what we've got here. And let's go ahead and round that number off. So desired leverage. Remember novice traders, three to four. Let's put four for this example. Maximum number of trades ever, five. Um, you can have less than this if your current margin is lower than let's say 2000, you're probably only gonna have a maximum number of assets of probably around three, one to three right there. So these are the three main variables that we need to be using when calculating our position size. What we can now work off these values is our total margin to trade with, also known as gross exposure, right? Let's go ahead and use that format pin tool over here to comment that out. And that this will be basically our current margin times our leverage used. In this case, we have 8,000 total to trade with based on our personal uh, exposure requirements. And using this, we can then work out exactly how much our maximum position size on one trade should ever be. So a single asset limitation, position limit. Let's go ahead and comment that out so we just know what it means. It's really good to make notes on all these things that when you're going ahead, just so when you come back to it, you know exactly what you were talking about in the uh, Excel tutorial. So max position side on one trade. So to do this, we're gonna use our gross exposure, which is our current margin times our leverage. And then we're gonna divide that by the maximum number of assets we're gonna trade. This gives us a single asset position limit of 1,600. And it basically means on 
any one trade, you should only ever be position sizing 1,600. Any more than that and you're over leveraging your position. This is basically how you work out whether you're over risking or not. But just because we have that starter position, we have that, sorry, we have that max position size of 1,600, it doesn't mean we start and place our trade with that, does it? What would you do as a smart trader if you know that your maximum position size on one trade is 1,600? Well, you don't go ahead and risk the whole 1,600 as soon as you think you have a good idea. You use something called, let's say, a starter position or a position size which is less than your maximum size. And this case will be 50%. And then we're going to have another one of 25%. So let's go ahead and make them a bit bolder. So starter position size of 50% would basically just mean half so divide it by two of our maximum position size limit. So if we are a more risky trader, we might start with a position size of 50%. If we're a conservative trader, we'd take on less risk at the start and mix, minimize our risk. We might start with a 25% position starter, which is half of that half, so $400. That means, for example, when we're trading, we get an idea ready and we're ready to put on some position we don't start with 1,600, we start with the 400 or the 800 based on how our character is, how our personality as a trader is. And then as the position moves in our favor, what's happening is we can scale in. So we can go from 400 all the way to 1,600. So if it goes to a one to two risk reward, we might bump up the numbers and increase our position size to the 850% limit. Now let's say it goes all the way to let's say a one to three risk reward then we might want to bump up to the full max position size limit on one trade to 1600 and then we expect that trade to trend in our favor and this way we've encapsulated the maximum leverage we want to be using per trade and also maximizing our gains on this trade as well that's basically the position size calculator in a nutshell and exactly how you could make it yourself. If you want the prettier version, we've got this in our shop. This is the one over here. So it basically got all the tutorials, it's got all the uh, numbers for you, it's got all the notes for you. Go ahead and download that. The link will be in the description, SIZ99 to get up to 99% off on that. Add it to your cart, go ahead and put that coupon in and you get access to that. Thanks for watching this position size calculator. It'll be really, really useful for you traders out there looking to get ahead in 2021 and actually risking the right amount per trade. Thanks for watching. It's Matty from LogicFX and I'll see you in the next one.